A television corporation known as Sinclair is planning on acquiring uh, Tribune Media and becoming another huge media conglomerate. Now, there are some ramifications to this, especially when you consider the fact that they force the networks that they work with to run these so called must run ads. And they're produced by Sinclair and they are very obviously right leaning. During the election campaign last year, it sent out a package that suggested, in part, that voters should not support Hillary Clinton because the Democratic Party was historically pro slavery. <laughs> now, I know that there are a lot of Democrats who did not like Hillary, who didn't want to vote for Hillary, but they felt that way due to, I would argue, justifiable reasons. Um, the Democratic Party being historically in favor of slavery is not one of the reasons why people didn't want to vote in favor of Hillary. No, that's a classic uh, propaganda lie yeah. that people who are uh, right wing put out there for the purpose of deceiving you. So they're talking about ancient history when the parties were reversed, when Democrats were largely the conservative party and the Republicans were the liberal party right. under Abraham Lincoln. That's why Abraham Lincoln fought against the Confederacy and their slaves. What they don't tell you is that in 1964, because of the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act, the parties in essence switched and the Republicans did what is called the Southern strategy to make sure they can get racist voters in the South to vote for the Republican Party. They said, look at this Democratic Party and Lyndon Johnson that passed the Civil Rights Act to give black people the same rights as white people. Outrageous, we're now the racist party, okay? That's what the Republicans did under Richard Nixon. So when Sinclair runs those ads, they say, not only are we Republican right wingers, but we are intending to deceive you by pretending that the Democrats of today are in favor of slavery and the Republicans are against it. When in reality, the Republicans just stripped away that same protections of the Civil Rights Act. Today, the right wing Supreme Court did and the Republicans celebrated it. They're the racist party, right. they know it and they know it's not popular. So they try to smear the other party. That's right. And now they're gonna have more TV stations to do that with. They, they are and that's one of the biggest issues with conglomerates, right? Because if you have one corporation or just a handful of corporations <coughs> taking complete control of the content that you see either in local news or news on a national level, you're gonna have a problem, right? You're gonna have a certain slant, a certain political bias and that's what we're experiencing right now. So let me give you more details. It wasn't just the Hillary ad that they were playing. Apparently since November of 2015, Sinclair has ordered its stations to run daily a daily segment called uh, <coughs> that has to do with terrorism. It's from the terrorist or terrorism alert desk, which updates on terrorism related news around the world. So of course, classic fear mongering. Now they're proposing an acquisition of Tribune Media, which would add 42 stations to Sinclair's 173. So its stations would reach more than 70% of the nation's households, including of the largest markets, okay? So that would include <coughs> New York, Los Angeles, those are the biggest markets right now. Also the journalists at Como, that is a news station in Seattle, described small acts of rebellion like airing the segments at times of low viewership or immediately before or after commercial breaks. So they blend in with paid spots. They all spoke on condition of anonymity, citing fear of reprisal from the company. So they're concerned that they're gonna be, they're gonna face some retaliation if they don't run these must run ads that they don't agree with because they're very obviously politically biased. Uh, to be fair to Como News, they're not interested in reporting news from political bias, either from the left or the right. And so the journalists that work there are concerned about their reputation and their credibility if these types of ads run on their network or their station, I should say. Now, could you imagine <coughs> if a media organization put out ads saying, uh, themselves putting out ads saying Republicans are the pro slavery party. What would happen? Liberal media bias, we knew it, we knew it. How dare they, we should shut them down. This is the problem with the liberal media. Instead, they reverse the truth and they say the Democrats are the pro slavery party. And everybody's like, oh, that's fine. By the Let's way, let them buy more stations. They do, they do rant against the liberal media. In fact, here is the head of Sinclair Broadcast Group talking about fake media. This is, a, this is one of the must run ads. Hi, I'm Scott Livingston, Vice President of News for this television station. We know our greatest responsibility is serving our local communities. I'm extremely proud of the journalism that this station produces. But I'm sure you know about the troubling trend of irresponsible and one-sided news stories plaguing our country. 
The sharing of bias and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, national media outlets are publishing these fake news stories without fact checking. Unfortunately, some members of the national media are using their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. If that isn't projection, I don't know what is. <laughs> if George Orwell saw that, he'd scream, told you, told you they'd be doing that. As they do propaganda over and over again on Sinclair, they do another piece of propaganda to tell you the rest of the media is biased. Yeah. If it wasn't so haunting and they didn't control such a large portion of our media in America, it would be hilarious. We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network, it's now number one, all thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger. tytnetwork.com slash join.